Time appropriate greetings and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Security. Today we are going to be doing our per persistent data storage. Um, I was going to do Bitcoin Wallet as well but I want to keep these things bite sized and let you digest them quickly. So today once you've booted into Tails we go to Applications, Tails, and configure persistent volume. This is also why we have dice, so we can continue rolling diceware. Um, currently I'm building my own list. After a few minutes time, this window will pop up. Uh, read through it so you understand what it's talking about, that this has its consequences. After a few moments this screen will pop up. And what we're going to do is with all that beautiful diceware you've been generating and writing down your words, we're going to take today six of them and create our passphrase. So the one I'm using in this test environment that will be deleted later on and has no bearing on my security whatsoever. I'll tell it to you as I type it. It is R E P R S pressed plasma gaming drool dealer caliber. That is six words and on my personal one I actually use eight and for others I use up to ten. So let's type it in again. And if you have them both correct, you'll get this lovely create button. And we click create and now it will take and convert whatever's left on that thumb drive for a persistent volume and this like the install can take a few minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause this and we'll come back when it's done once it's done creating the volume it will give you this screen currently we just are worried about keeping our store of personal data. Uh, later on you may want to add the GNU PG keyring, SSH client configurations depending on if you're remotely accessing systems, uh, Pigeon if you're doing secure communications, Thunderbird if you need to do some email stuff and you want to persist that ac across reboots, and even the GNOME keyring. Some of the other things on here are network connections, now this is the configuration of network devices and connections. I select this so I don't always have to go in and create the make sure my networking isn't turned on. Um, this is a Bitcoin client based on Electrum's Bitcoin wallet. Uh, this is the app package list and dot files. Currently we are only worried about the network connections and the personal data. A lot of people will use the Electrum Bitcoin wallet here. I personally use uh, bitaddress.com, I believe it is, which gives me a basic web page to run things off of that I can run offline. And I'll explain those when we do the Bitcoin piece in the coming days. But we're going to go ahead and save this here. And it tells us that we can now. You notice only everything's going to take place after we restart, and it says we can now close this application. We close the application, come up here, and we're going to go ahead and restart, and we'll come back to you once it restarts. As you'll see, once Tails boots back up, we have encrypted persistent storage. And here, as you can see, we can show the passphrase as we type it.
Again, this is just a six word password that we're using and because this is a throwaway, I don't mind showing you that word. <clears throat> As you see, it hashes out pretty differently. We also want to come in and make sure our, to disable our networking. And as you see, when we come back, they have some other things that we can bring the other things on. But we want to go ahead and unlock. And when it unlocks, it should also give us the ability to start Tails here in just a moment. Fortunately, there, that should be better. Unfortunately, my uh, virtual machine just chokes starting up the uh, persistent volume. So what we're doing right now is we're rebooting into just straight Tails, putting on the persistent volume, and I'm going to reboot again and show you some crappy screenshots of what it looks like once you've rebooted with those options installed. And so we'll be right back. Again, I apologize that this is a screenshot, but once it logs back in up at the top, on your places, you will now have persistent. And this will have a persistent file folder where you can store things. This says, with the modifications that I did for the persistent storage, I should also have persistent networking, and that would be visible on a reboot. And that is how you enable your persistent storage on your Tails thumb drive. Like I said, we'll be needing this going forward when we install our Bitcoin wallets, and if you want to install anything else that you would like to keep long-term, cold storage, and private. Thank you. Have a nice day. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.